got? Who do I got coming up here? We got. You know, I'm talking to. I'm talking to in just a minute. Is I have the wonderful, the talented, the Emmy and Oscar nominated Melissa McCarthy is going to be here tonight. Everybody loves. Everybody loves. Everybody loves it. Everybody loves it. In a very special way. She's here in a way that we've never interviewed a guest before. So mm -hmm. stick around for that. You're going to want to see it. And I'm going to want to see you this weekend, John. You're going out to the Emmys, right? Yes, I'm going out there. I'm going to go out there. Yeah. I and I'm going to be. I'm going to be out there. Yes. You want to hang at all? Because I got no date. I got no. Because you can't bring a date this year because of COVID. I know. You can't. Not even all the nominees can go. You just you, so I, Evie can't come, even though she's technically my co-host. Oh man. Yeah. Sad, isn't it? Well, Sad story. I like to bring the yeah. audience down in the middle of the comedy show. That's my goal, <laughs> just to bum everybody we'll, out. We'll hang out. You and me will hang yeah, out? Yeah, okay, time. good. That would be like, for old times' sake. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> sure. That sounds good. I haven't seen you in a couple of hours. Probably well, right. You know, folks, I spend most of my time sourcing for you the day's finest Hongzhou silk news stories, mounting them on the most topical premium polyhedral bamboo joke frame, decorating it with artisanal ash ink, inserting a hand-poured beeswax candle, filling it with intention, and then sending it aloft on the updraft of audience laughter in the spectacular Chinese lantern festival that is my nightly monologue. But sometimes, just sometimes, folks, I go visit my buddy Barracuda at the abandoned mall, drop a couple of hundos on some wet Roman candles, bent sparkler smuggled in from the Philippines, and a flare gun stolen from a crashed Coast Guard boat, set it all off in the deranged, unregulated fireworks accident of news that is my segment. Always makes me feel good. Always, always, always happy to do this. This, this is a happy antidepressant. Meanwhile, <laughs> a 37-year-old Italian pastry chef is building his own version of Middle Earth to abandon modern life and is living as a hobbit. Come on, man. A 37-year-old being that obsessed with Tolkien? <laughs> Playing dress up to feel part of Middle Earth is a little sad. That kind of behavior is only appropriate for a 57 year old. <laughs> the chef. The chef is Nicholas Gentile, seen here wearing the exact same New Balance as Frodo famously wore <laughs> in the Battle of Mount Footlocker. And Gentile is committed. He bought a piece of land in the countryside where he and his wife started building their personal shire. Wow, he has a wife. He got a wife. Meanwhile, Crocs has announced they will be changing their clogs ingredients to be bio based by 2022. Yeah, yeah. That's a great move because currently each individual croc has whittled from a block of polonium 210. <laughs> Meanwhile, Mars. There are still major obstacles to colonizing the red planet, among them being that Martian soil doesn't contain the right stuff to make building materials. But don't you worry. There may be a solution, because scientists are suggesting we build a Mars base out of astronaut blood. <laughs> I'm guessing those scientists are not astronauts. <laughs> this innovative idea comes from lead researcher Dr. Acula. <laughs> now, why blood? Fans of Dr. Acula here. Want to stop your blood. Sure. You did. Why blood, you're asking? Well, researchers say it's possible to use a special protein found in human blood as an in vivo binder to create a kind of Martian soil concrete that can be used to build or 3D print entire buildings. I notice they're not being super specific about how they're going to harvest enough astronaut blood. <laughs> to 3D print entire buildings. Welcome to your first day on Mars. Here's the key to your room. But first, why don't you just hop on the old debloodinator over there. <laughs> Afterwards, you'll get a juice box and a Lorna Dune. Mm. Mm. It's not just blood. Evidently, scientists explain you can also whip up Martian concrete with urine, sweat, or even tears. <laughs> and if you're struggling to collect enough astronaut tears, try telling them you're going to make buildings out of their blood. <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> why? What's wrong with you? What's wrong? With you? Meanwhile, <laughs> cigarette giganto corp Philip Morris International has taken control of an asthma inhaler maker <laughs> after securing nearly 75% of inhaler maker Vectura shares, making it the majority shareholder. It's the worst conflict of interest since EpiPen was bought by Mr. Peanut. 
This life-saving medication now available in Honey Roasted. <laughs> Meanwhile, CNN has done a deep dive into how and how often to wash towels. According to experts, bath towels should be washed every three to five uses. Or for college students, whenever you hear the towel whispering, kill me. <laughs> we'll be right back with the marvelous Melissa McCarthy.